This is Jack from Alpha Charts with a stocks to watch video. Today is July 17th, 2022. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. Also, if you like these videos, please go ahead and take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really does help me out. I really do appreciate um, everyone that has subscribed. And, um, and if you all will give it a like, get it on the algorithms, give it a subscribe. Um, that really means a lot to me. So I appreciate that. All right. Um, oh, two more little announcements here. Um, there's a Trader Alliance masterclass with Stan Weinstein. If you don't know who Stan Weinstein is, he wrote the book on stage analysis. Um, this is one of my top three trading books of all time. And he is going to be giving a masterclass in stage analysis. Um, I think it's amazing that we can learn from a primary source, literally the guy who wrote the book that most of us all use um, to understand stage analysis. So uh, if you're interested in that, go to Trader Alliance. Um, dot com or their uh, Twitter page right over here. Um, and the second thing is I'll be speaking today at the Trader Lion conference. Um, uh, I come on around 420 or so, but it's a great lineup today. I mean, just all people I follow and I think that uh, will provide a lot of information. Again, uh, go to Trader Lion's YouTube page or, or their, their Twitter page for the links. If you're interested, um, it's pretty amazing uh, to get this together. And, and I'm going to be sharing three of my scans as well as um, uh, part of my process today. So uh, so you want don't want to miss that out, okay? Um, all right, so let's get started with this, though. Stocks to watch. Here we go. Um, little uh, note about the cues. You know, we've had some constructive price action, right? So we've had higher low and intraday a higher high, okay? Still under the declining 50-day, and we'll see what happens when price gets up there, if it gets rejected again or not. Um, but constructive, we'll call it. Summer volume, so it's not totally making me weirded out that we're not getting these giant volume spikes to the upside. Um, a lot of people don't even believe that this rally is real. I think it has legs. Is this the bottom? I don't know. It could be. I, don't, it, I think this is a bottom, right? Um, is it the bottom? We'll find out. We'll only know after the fact. One thing to watch this week, then we'll get onto individual stocks, is 50 days is right here. So this blue line, the 50-day moving average, as we go through this week, we're going to be taking out these bars, which means that if price can move a little higher, um, this 50-day moving average will start to flatten out. And that's a very good sign. I think 295 to 300 is still the area. We want to see price above that. If price does get above that, I think that's a big deal. I think it's a real big deal. Um, if it can't get above that, maybe not. Again, we could be in this type of situation here where we get a nice tradable rally. That may be all it is, and we fall down again. It's possible. Um, and, and actually, likely. But we'll see. One day at a time. Okay? But let's look at what we could potentially make some money off of. Uh, first one, IOT. There's 28 names, by the way. IOT coming up here. Nice little flag it's producing uh, after it's moved up. Love that it's already above its 50 day and it's starting to curl back up again. Looks real good. Uh, BMDL. Again, uh, know your earnings dates. We are in earnings season as well as, um, you know, I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Uh, write down the names and make them your own trade, right? Uh, here's Bumble. Again, nice little kind of went up, coming back down a little bit, but trying to get above that 200-day moving average. Kind of nice to see. Um, Ali came back into the moving averages. It looks like we have a bounce up here. Uh, nice looking place to manage risk against potentially. Uh, Docs, DOCS. See if this breakout holds. Um, had breakout on volume, which is really nice to see. 50-day curling up. DH. Again, here it has not broken out yet. So we'll see what happens when it does get to this point. But nice accumulation there. DV. Double verify. Again, above the 50 day, trying to move higher. Good move on Friday with a strong, powerful move there. Uh, Shockwave, SWAV. Shook me out a couple of times the last couple of weeks. Um, 
play it, just play it too tight. But nice little move. Now this is the new area um, that you could potentially play it against, maybe ahead of itself, maybe pull back, maybe not. We'll see. But nice looking pattern right there. GitLab GTLB. Beautiful little flag right here, right? I mean, that's just a nice flag. Um, so really like that. Good move Friday. Very actionable trade right there. PTCT. Right? There's get um PTCT. I'm just writing this down real fast. Um, love the strong move. And then this flagging out right here, uh, potential high type flag candidate. Um, if it could break out, that'd be a really, really strong um, uh, um, stock right there. PTCT, fold. Again, very strong move, flagging out, very little give back in this flag. Look at this accumulation um, as it's moving sideways. So uh, real nice one there, fold. Again, some of these are gonna be uh, biotechs know what you're buying right um and, and know the risks involved ntla and moving higher flagging sideways again it's a beautiful looking chart and if you look at it some nice volume in there evh more traditional breakout double bottom esque or you, i don't know if, i would call this coming handle way too deep and if this was some kind of handle i would say maybe some kind of VCP, yeah, I would say maybe VCP type pattern. You know, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, as it keeps plugging against this general area right there. Um, if this could break out, great, beautiful volume coming in in this area, right? in the VCP itself, especially just recently. Um, next up will be OPLEX, O L P X. Um, beautiful little inverted head and shoulders. It's trying to make, I mean, you play it to, to here. It's a nice little move right there. And then maybe take some off up here and then maybe add it back on if it does break out. Um, but overall it looks pretty good. It's OLPX, um, Li, L-I, Chinese name. But again, beautiful up. There's your flag. Um, everything is lined up beautifully. Again, know what you own. Uh, cell H, Celsius. CELH, again, nice base, good accumulation, strong breakout, maybe extended, right? 8% 8, 8 move on Friday. Should have been in it back here. I was thinking about it, but didn't pull the trigger. Um, but yeah, if I get any kind of pullback, um, this is one I really, really like. Uh, sell H, again, above its 200 day already. 50 day and 200 day are going to cross if it stays up here. Looks good. Uh, INCY. Again, look at this nice up move. There's your flag. A lot of these are biotechs. It's what you know the market's given us. IRTC. You know, I can kind of see this right there. Right. And that looks pretty good. Gigantic volume on here. I don't know what they announced, but yeah, that was a big move. And it came back, flagged into it, and now it's trying to move higher. Strong looking name there. IRTC. Um, next up is AXNX. Um, again, just a nice little double bottom look to it, right? Uh, beautiful chart. Uh, AGL. Same, a lot, you know, all these charts are looking very same. But look at this move up and let's look at this flag real fast. There's your flag. Nice little flag. Look at this accumulation volume coming in here. So if this can break out, which it's maybe starting to, um, right? Maybe starting to right there. Move higher, breaks this, maybe this high right there, $27, gets above 27 ish. I think this can move much higher. Love how the 200 days already flattening, right? There's your 50 day strong stocks. HTHT, another Chinese name, be careful. But again, there's your flag, right? Flag above the 200 day, nice accumulation in general over here. Uh, EXEL. Here's a, uh, you know, downtrend line you could play it against potentially. Um, S G F Y. Sorry, sorry about that. Big downtrend from the IPO starting to break out. Let's look at this move. You know what? We had this nice move forward uh, higher. 
little flag type action broke out. So good looking name again, above its 200 day, above its 50 day. I mean, just strong look to the moving averages, strong look to the chart. Um, next up is SGFY. I'm sorry, that's what we just had. Sorry, uh, Vero, V E R U. All right, this one, much more volatile than the others. I mean, gigantic move, right? 182%. I don't even know what they do. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, moving sideways, digesting all of this. Nice pullback into the 200 day. And let's get rid of that big volume. And you can see how just accumulation keeps happening in this name. Moving averages are starting to fan out. So, uh, you know, if we can flag maybe one more time or it has to be a really small position, that's gigantic um, extended right now. But keep it on the watch list. ARWR, Aero Pharmaceuticals. Again, big up, strong flag. I mean, if you want to see big, again, look at this volume in here. Sick, sick volume. Um, MRK, Merck, a little bit more of a traditional name. And you can just see, you know, traditional type of breakout. Kind of boring, to be honest with you. Um, LNTH. Yeah, check out this accumulation. Unbelievable accumulation here. And um, I'm going to move this. And I want to put a VWAP right there. And yeah, holding the VWAP from the giant gap up. This all looks perfect. Tagged it right there. Kind of interacted with it there. Um, and if I put another VWAP in here, Yeah, this one looks very nice. Starting to uh, starting to really move higher again. Great accumulation. LNTH, um, HRMY broke out, giant base, and then look at this flag right back into it. I mean, this is what you want to see, right? What a great looking setup right there. Accumulation all over the place literally almost no distribution at all as it's flagging out um you know and i would even say this is probably an accumulation bar right here i would not consider this distribution look how it's closing the top ends of its range it's just really nice looking name there um crsp last one on my list again it's a genomics type name genetic genomics names of it looking good um, you know, uh, some semiconductors names, I didn't have any on here, but they're starting to perk up a little bit. I haven't, I, I just none that really caught my eye for this particular week, but that's an emerging, um, sector that's looking real good. Um, so this is the first week I can say that we've had a lot of stocks really start to set up and more names than I can potentially buy. And so this is, um, or want to buy. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, I do have a top five or six or seven here. Uh, here are my, some of my favorites. Um, IoT. Love the way this is accumulating and this is just kind of flagging out here. Um, I love Fold, right? Just a beautiful on the accumulation side. Nice uptrend. No distribution going on there at all. NTLA. Oh, crap. NTLA. Again, nice sideways movement right there. Great accumulation. Um, Next up is LI. Same thing. I mean, all look at that flag, just a beautiful look to it. Uh, I like VERU, but not really to play this week. Um, it had to pull back. So this one, a little caution. LNTH looks really good. I mean, just strong, strong name. And I thought uh, GTLB looked good. And love the way this is flagging right back into um, support and the moving averages, real nice. But there was a bunch on here that, that really just looked fantastic. Those are just some of the ones. Um, so again, get good positions, get good entries, um, know the market we're in. It's still a bear market, in my opinion. So just be real careful with that. You know, don't over uh, extend. Know where your stops are. Move them up to break even as soon as you can, right? Uh, protect yourself. You know, if things are really starting to stack up and, and this is was the bottom, right? There's tons of opportunity, and we're still pretty damn early. Um, but it's looking good so far. Let's let it play out. Let's see what happens. Uh, the 50 days start to flatten and price get above 300 ish, and, uh, and and play it day by day. Again, if if it ends up rolling over and you move your stop to break even or even a little bit higher as you know things progress, well, 
perfect, right? That's what we're supposed to do, risk management. Um, if it rolls over, know where your stop is and, and, and get the hell out. And that's it. All right, guys, don't forget, trader line today. Catch me on the um, on the um, live webinar. Um, webinar, you want to call it a conference. Um, I'll be going over um, my, the way I approach the market, how I tell the health of the market, my top-down approach. That's how I got a lot of these names on this list. And also my bottoms-up approach. I'm sharing three scans. Again, those scans produce most of these names on this list. So, uh, so catch it up at TraderLion.com or through their, um, their Twitter and uh, follow me at AlphaCharts365. Catch me on, on uh, my channel and I appreciate it. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Bye.